<laughs> so we're gonna do, um, you know, what's become your specialty, DIY. I mean, I love when you try out the projects on the show, but these are cute. This is something a little different, huh? This so, is a little different. So this is called Kokodama, and Kokodama has become the hottest trend on the internet. There's a so, name for it. Yeah, so many City Line fans have been sending me this saying, looks really cool, do this. Okay. And I think it has to do with the idea of the whole miniature aspects, oh, right? Everybody's okay. loving miniature plants, yeah. and this is a great way to do something very cool. But I kind of looked at it and went, really, we're torturing plants. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I think so. So before you work with your plant, make sure you know it's safe word. No, yeah. <laughs> so let's let's have a little fun with Kokodama. Yay! <laughs> All right. Basically. <laughs> live if you do this it to is, it? It is, it is. So we have a piece okay. over here, and you can see how root bound this is in the pot. Like yes. that is crazy. We're gonna make it worse. Okay. Which is surprising because you'd think, oh, that's bad for the plants. Certain plants actually like to be in confined spaces. Mm. Lilies, ivies, even this hibiscus. But you have to that. figure out which plants those are that are gonna thrive when they're exactly, bound like that. Exactly, exactly. So we're gonna make a mess. So I got some rubber gloves there for you, Tracy. Thank you. Because, you know, I always feel bad about getting your hands dirty. And no, you Every got time my I'm back. on City Line, we get Mucky. Yeah, you yeah. bring a lot of dirt I here. love bringing dirt in. That's Sometimes gardening. he brings manure. It's always a party. So I'm not even going to tell you what this is. Okay. Oh, ready? It's poo, isn't it? <laughs> I won't it lie. Poo? There is some fertilizer in here. Yes. Great. Yay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smell bad, though. So, Tracy, what I want you to do is I want you to make a mud ball. Oh, okay. Make me a big ball with the plant. Yeah, just pack it yeah. right in there. So what you're doing is you're actually providing the nutrients for the plant. It's okay. not going to hold together super well because you don't want it super wet. You okay. just want it a little bit tacky, okay? And once, and not tacky like white belt and tie tacky, but just tacky <laughs> as in cling to the pot. So once okay. you kind of get, yeah, like that. You but got do you it. want the whole thing? Should I do it all the way around? That's fine. That's okay. good, yeah. And then all what right. we're going to do is we're going to take some of this moss. I'm going to bring it over here. Okay. Okay. And we're going to actually put the plant in the moss. That's nice. This yep. doesn't feel like this, torture. Well, you wait for it. Okay. So we're going to put the plant in the moss like that. I feel like the plant we're likes this. Wrap the moss up like this. Okay. Uh -huh. Right beside you, Tracy, is some yarn. You yes. see that? Can you unroll me a piece? So I like the piece? fact that you uh, that you did it with the yarn. Is that what people are showing this is you? What, on yeah, Twitter absolutely. The... So we're going to go around the bottom first, like okay. this. This looks intricate. Yeah. And we're going to tie it up. This is where those whole safe words come in because <laughs> your plant is getting bound. Just uh, holler. Yeah, just holler. If you just don't let like us know it. if this is not good. You know how hard it is to tie this up with rubber gloves? That's what I'm thinking. Urgh, I'm okay. thinking also how many times do you have to go around it to make it look like <laughs> and that? And then you're just going to start wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And you're going to get this effect on that plant, which is quite striking. See that? What's gorgeous about that particular style yeah. is you can hang it. A lot of people do hanging balls oh, like that's that. nice. And it's beautiful. It's stunning. The yarn keeps the moisture in around the moss. Okay. Okay. So I thought that was cool. What are you doing in terms of maintenance with your plant now? Nothing. You just water it, it's done. Okay, so you put the water somewhere in there. Just pour it on top, pour, pour it, it in the top. sink, do what you need to do. Okay, all right. So all right. I thought, you know it's what, there's, there's got to be a better way. Yeah, all right. You know, so you didn't like that as much. I did. It looks pretty, but it's hard. It took a while. It took a while. Wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And yeah. the one thing you want to do is make sure you switch hands. Because it all starts getting wrapped on one side. So you've got to keep switching hands. Okay. So I thought I you came need up help, with really. A little bit. That's why you're here, Tracy. Okay. So I came up with this idea of how to do it. Almost the exact same way. I like this in one. a grapevine ball, That's and nice. it takes about a minute. It looks more natural too. This is good if you're looking for the, that retro sort of 70s style. This is really cool if you're looking for that natural rustic look. And it's a lot less tight on the plant, yeah. so the, the root binding isn't happening as much on this one. So let's right. do this one. Okay. Do you want to do it with the hibiscus or the peace lily? Whichever is going to be easier. Okay. Well, they're both <laughs> the same. Yeah. Okay. So again, you're going to take it out like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to grab the second one there? This Perfect. one. Perfect. Oh, now, you got the moss in there I got already. the moss already in the bottom. Perfect. Now, you're going to know that these balls sort of have a natural spot where they're going to sit flat. Yes. Because you don't want your plant always tipping over, right? Yep. So you're literally just going to put the plant down in the hole. So right? you cut out a hole. No, I didn't actually. Just oh, spread it apart. Oh, you just spread it apart? The one okay. thing you're going to notice with these grapevine balls is they often have a wire cage. You can see that wire right oh, there? Oh, yeah. So just cut it. Okay. It doesn't hurt the cage at all, but it opens up the hole a little bit wider. Okay. You're going to put the plant down in. And you're just going to start packing it with moss. And oh, that's, that's all easy. Was. So simple. That's easy. I love that. I love how these look. And I wonder, 
I wonder why people are so interested in miniatures these days. Is it just, is it a space situation or is it just because they look so cute? A lot of people are going with living centerpieces on tables, uh -huh. entryways, and this is a way to do it that, so it's not cut flowers in a vase, it's something a little bit different. It's beautiful. But if you're going to do that, just make sure you put one of the ceramic bottoms on it. Yes. Because it will get a little bit wet on your table and you don't want to do any damage. Okay, okay? same in terms of maintenance, water it and let it go. Water it and let it go. You oh, can put this on a project, balcony, you can put this anywhere. Back to school. Send your kids off to college with a kokodama. Done. That's kind of cool. <laughs>